in previous videos I told you that you can ac activate the pans by using a pipette for selective doodle colors. But what you can also do is use a mister and you can get one of these um, like at Michael's or another press store or I think this one I ended up getting at a Dollar Tree. So what you would do, split, pump, and then spit for all your, you don't want to have too much water um, on your pans because you need to really dry it before you close the lid because you don't want to have any um, bacteria forming on your pants. And although it's not likely to happen to a lot, you don't want to ruin your pants. And you can go back in with the pipettes when I, you need to. So again, I have uh, water well over here in front of me. And then I also have one on the side so I can get rid of most of the paint that's in my brush. So I'm going to wet the paper. Now you could use um, like a washi tape, but I find that has um, too um, much of a straight edge. And like, like the effects of the watercolor just rolling around and not to worry about any edges that I have. I mean, you still have to let the paint dry, but it's a good alternative. In another video, I will go through some suggestions on what you can do to fight or at least min minimize the amount of buckling with your watercolor paper. And don't worry about the colors mixing together. That's what you want. That's kind of the joy of uh, watercolor painting. And a little bit of violet. And every so often get some more water for your brush. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the background wash as far as doodling goes. I'm just playing by ear. Another thing you can do is get some clean water on your brush and then flick it like that. And depending upon how wet or dry it is, you can lift off 
a little bit of pigment. See that one here? And then this one here? And the small ones? Very cool. I'm going to let this dry and I will beg back to start the dueling process. See you in a bit. So this um, has dried now and it'll, it'll be a little bit buckly, um, but that's okay. We can deal with it. And the other day, I realized that I didn't have a, a compass. So I went it out to Walgreens and I picked up a nice set. It's from West Wexford. So I have a clear ruler, a triangle, actually a, a couple of triangles. So I figured I would use it today. Another one. And then whatever this is, I have it. A couple of compasses. Like this, which is cool. So you can open up and do the comp compass thing. And there is another one. Bear with me. Arthritis is not fun. But at least it's secure. So I guess you can have something in here. Like a pen or a pencil and the pointy end goes on the paper and then this would put your pencil in or a pen. So I'm going to be using these today, uh, not this one. I'll be using this and a couple of the triangles. It's not really a product review. It's more look at my new toys. So. And they have a lead there. Okay. Close up a little bit. that aside and let's go with this the old-fashioned way so I, I like to use geometrical uh, shapes because it breaks up the paper or the wash and like this is going to be a cell this is going to be a cell this is going to be a cell so basically what I do is I create different um, canvases within the wash layout Okay. And 
eyeball it as far as even and plain. And since this is parted, you might as well use it as well. So let's go with that. Now, every line isn't going to be used. I just want to have as much options as I can get. Okay. If you're liking this video so far, if you could hit the like button, that way YouTube sees it and can serve it with more people. Thank you. So I'm going to use my Thule art pens. I'm going to be using number 10, the number 6, and the number 3. The first part is I'm going to be using the number 10 because I'm going to be outlining the... Um, pencil first. So what I do is I like to move it around when I ever um, to make, make it com more comfortable for me. And I like to pull down towards me as opposed to going up. Because when you go up, you have a tendency or a problem with the wiggly lines. So I generally will go in one direction. See, it's kind of wonky, but as I said, we'll deal with it. And I'm going to apologize beforehand because the camera that I'm using is good, but it has a tendency to blur out when I'm working on. And then I have the little accent here. Don't worry about it. It will be fixed in no time. So embrace your mistakes as they happen so in the one you're unless you're perfect which would be kind of scary but mistakes happen and you can just incorporate your excellent into your piece And honestly, no one will know if anything is a mistake. Okay. Yeah, I want to continue that here. I read or heard somewhere that the circle is the most difficult shape to freehand. I think it has to do with the rotation of the earth. But I could be wrong. Just take your time this is sped up.
scared. So do you see how the border is more organic? I like the effect that you get when you allow the watercolor to define its own border by not using any washi tape. And let's go over with this. So I normally do go for YouTube in the morning, so the light is consistent. But I had some errands to do, um, so I started later. So you may notice some of the light changing. I apologize for that. So I'm going to go in with my 06 to do some random lines. And also, I'm using my six for rounding out where two or more lines intersects like here as i said i'm using tuli art but you can use anything you have just make sure if you are able to have different size of nib. That way your doodles are more interested as, as um, you're giving your eyes variety. Now it's one thing to, if you were with me in the room that I'm dueling in, you would be able to see and ask questions as to, as opposed to me talking while I duel and I don't know about you but it's not the easiest thing to do because you're concentrating on the doodle but also concentrating on you to get you as much as I can as far as information So if I have long periods of silence, it's not you, it's me. As it is, um, this, like I said, this is sped up a little bit. That way you're not spending so much time watching me. Of course, if you are dueling around your own supplies, that's good. We'll doodle together. See how different the doodle looks with the rounded edges? It's cool.
At least I think it's cool. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, let me know if you are doodling with me. So, as I was saying about the cells, all these cells that we're creating, you can go back in once you're done and fill them with your favorite designs or patterns. And remember to move your paper to make it easier for you as you doodle. Because you m want to relax your shoulders, remember to breathe. Just take your time. So, the, the possibilities are endless as far as what you can have and will. And if you like the video, you can subscribe to get notified when I do another video, which is basically um, one time a week, sometimes two. So how you like it for, for the next video I'm going to suggest that's going to pop up on the screen is another one of my combining shape shapes in your doodle and I hope you have enjoyed the video and got inspired thank you bye <laughs>